starting with 1 million luck points. Chapter 126, I killed him. Swoosh. Swoosh. As they screamed, many employees from the two-story building rushed over. Minister Wang from the medicinal herb department also quickly appeared at the entrance of the supervisor's office. He had been paying attention to Wang Xiyun's matter since he was the one who had instigated Supervisor Zhen to threaten Wang Xiyun and her husband. As soon as he entered the office, he saw Supervisor Zhen lying in a pool of blood. His eyes immediately widened. You, you actually dared to kill Supervisor Zhen. Zhou Suiwo heard Minister Wang's voice and hurriedly turned around. Yes, I killed him. I killed Supervisor Zhen. He shouted like a lunatic. Wang Shiyun quickly pulled Zhou Hao behind her. Minister Wang smiled instead of being angry when he heard this. Very good. Wang Shiyun, Zhou Suiwo, you guys are really bold. How dare you kill someone in the Jing Pharmaceutical Company? You're done for. Zhou Suiwo laughed and cursed, damn you, Wang Bai. Even if we end up in prison, we won't let you take our medicinal herbs. Die. As he spoke, he gritted his teeth and used all his strength to charge towards Minister Wang. Everyone was stunned when they saw this. Zhou Hao also did not expect his father, who had always treaded safely, to go against Minister Wang. However, he quickly reacted and understood that his father was trying to use his actions to prove that he was the one who killed Supervisor Zhen. Bang. Minister Wang was a martial artist and easily dodged Zhou Suiwo. He sneered and said, Do you really think you can kill? Just like Supervisor Zen, he also stopped midway. Swoosh. 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 Everyone looked at Su Ling in shock. She pinched Minister Wang's neck with one hand and exerted strength with her fingers. Immediately, the sound of bones cracking sounded from Minister Wang's neck. His eyes widened and he quickly stopped breathing. After doing all of this, Su Ling retracted her palm and calmly took out a hand towel to wipe her hands. We'll tell the others that I was the one who killed Supervisor Zheng and Minister Wang. It's bad to keep such trash around anyway. By the way, I'm the daughter of Su Pharmaceutical Company's chairman Su, Su Ling. Please call the police immediately. With that said, she hurriedly signaled to Wang Shiyun with her eyes. Wang Shiyun regained her senses and immediately understood what Su Ling meant. Indeed, in this situation, only Su Ling could resolve the matter. After all, their family was only an ordinary family. Once the police arrived, they would definitely be arrested and thrown into jail. However, Su Ling was different. She was Chairman Su's daughter. The police had to inform Chairman Su before they could do anything. When Chairman Su arrived, there would be room for discussion. Thinking of this, Wang Shiyun hurriedly went forward to support Zhou Suiwo and whispered into his ear. Zhou Suiwo looked at Su Ling gratefully. He had not expected that at such a critical moment, his son's classmate would actually stand up and even risk killing someone to help their family escape. Zhou Hao stood rooted to the ground and looked at Su Ling in a daze. For him, even if he destroyed Jing Pharmaceutical Company, it would not affect his parents at all. At most, he would expose his identity. After all, he believed that Commander Zhao and the others would be able to help him. However, he did not expect Su Ling to attack. I didn't like the wrong person. In the past, he liked Su Ling mostly because of her appearance. However, at this moment, he completely treated Su Ling as a close friend. Taking a few steps forward, Zhang Yi blocked Zhou Hao and whispered, Zhou Hao, don't be rash. At a time like this, only Su Ling can help. Don't let her down. Zhou Hao nodded. I understand. Don't worry, I won't be rash. Zhang Yi heaved a sigh of relief. That's good. This is nothing to Su Ling. Don't forget about her physique. Moreover, it was Minister Wang and Supervisor Zheng who took the medicinal herbs from your parents in the first place. Zhou Hao nodded and walked in front of Su Ling. 
he pulled her hand. Su Ling, thank you. Su Ling held Zhou Hao's palm and smiled sweetly. Zhou Hao, I should be the one thanking you. If not for you, I wouldn't have obtained the ice muscle body. At this moment, a police siren sounded from downstairs. Soon, many police officers rushed to the seventh floor. Move aside. The middle-aged man in the lead shouted. Immediately, many employees surrounding them dispersed. The middle-aged man walked in and saw Minister Wang lying on the ground at the door. He immediately frowned, but when he looked up and saw Su Ling, he was stunned. Little Ling, why are you here? Su Ling smiled and said, Uncle Gang, I killed them. They all saw me do it. Chapter 127, A Meritorious Deed Gen Huo's expression darkened, and then he looked at the surrounding employees. They immediately nodded. Nonsense, he shouted. He took a few steps towards Su Ling and whispered, What happened here? Su Ling hurriedly explained the situation in detail. Gen Huo came to a realization, and his expression eased up a lot. I see. In that case, they deserve to die. Don't worry, leave this to your uncle Gang. As long as we can find evidence that Minister Wang and Supervisor Zeng took the medicinal herbs from your classmates' parents, it won't matter even if you did kill them. Thank you, Uncle Gang. Su Ling said gratefully. Don't be so rash in the future, Gang Huo said as he took out his phone and called Su Jenkyo to tell him what had happened. On the other end of the line, Su Jenkyo said indifferently, Old Gang, just do what you're supposed to do. You definitely can't embezzle resources like this. Moreover, I heard that this batch of medicinal herbs was obtained by a student that went to the wilderness. When Gen Huo heard this, he immediately said angrily, What? Wang and Zheng are really detestable. The beast wave attack almost wiped out our Huadong city and the students had to risk their lives to enter the wilderness. It was so difficult for them to find cultivation resources, but they actually embezzled the resources. Don't worry, I'll handle this matter impartially. Su Jenkyo nodded and reminded, Old Gang, you have to pay attention. Also, it's best to inform Commander Zhao. After all, the beast wave attack was resolved by Senior Zhao. Strictly speaking, the resources in the wilderness area belong to Senior Zhao. Gen Huo immediately understood the seriousness of the matter and said seriously, Got it. After hanging up the phone, he looked at the surrounding employees and coldly explained the seriousness of the matter. It's not enough for Minister Wang and Supervisor Zhang to die. Everyone, it's best if you don't hide the incriminating evidence and tell the truth. Otherwise, you will also be in trouble. Upon hearing this, several employees were shocked and hurriedly said, Director Gang, I can tell you what happened. I can too. Minister Wang even gave Supervisor Zhang a million yuan. I know where the transfer record is. When Su Ling heard this, she smiled and turned around. She looked at Zhou Suiwo and Wang Shiyun and whispered, Uncle, Auntie, it's fine now. Zhou Suiwo was still in disbelief. Are you sure? Su Ling nodded. Uncle, Auntie, the medicinal herbs that Minister Wang and Supervisor Zheng embezzled were obtained from the wilderness area. All the resources in the wilderness area should actually belong to Senior Zhou, who resolved the beast wave attack. Therefore, Supervisor Wang and Supervisor Zheng actually embezzled Senior Zhou's things. Such a crime is very serious. It's even possible for them to receive a more severe punishment than death. Therefore, Killing them is not only not a sin, but also a meritorious deed. Zhou Suiwo and Wang Shiyun were instantly dumbfounded. They didn't know that this matter could be resolved so easily. It was just as Su Ling had said. After Gen Huo informed the Bureau about what happened at the Jing Pharmaceutical Company, the Bureau immediately assigned great importance to it. Even the city leader was alarmed. In just half an hour, the city leader, bureau leader, and the others rushed to the Jing Pharmaceutical Company. Soon, a large number of leaders and cotters crowded the seventh-floor corridor. 
the city leader's forehead was covered in sweat. Clearly, he had been in a hurry the entire time. He walked in front of Gen Huo and praised, Old Gen, you're still the most reliable. You didn't inform Commander Zhao first. If Commander Zhao finds out that you didn't handle the matter properly, not only will your bureau be reprimanded, but our city will also be reprimanded. Embezzling the resources obtained from the wilderness area is a huge matter. Commander Zhao has repeatedly emphasized at the city meeting that we absolutely cannot tolerate any martial artist, company, or faction embezzling the resources obtained from the wilderness area after the beast wave attack. The bureau leader also nodded hurriedly. I didn't expect something like this to happen at Jing Pharmaceutical Company. The city leader asked, how's the victim's family? They're fine. They're just a little emotionally unstable. Gen Huo hurriedly said. Hearing this, the bureau leader and the city leader hurriedly walked into the office. Minister Wang and Supervisor Zheng's corpses had also been carried out long ago. Because the matter had not been resolved yet, Wang Xiyun, Zhou Suiwo, and the others were all sitting on the sofa. Ah, city leader. Seeing the important figures that often appeared on the television, Wang Xiyun and Zhou Suiwo were shocked and hurriedly stood up. The city leader took a step forward, held Zhou Suiwo's hand, and said amiably, I'm sorry for making the two of you suffer. I didn't expect that Jing Pharmaceutical Company would do such a heartless thing. It's my fault for not doing my job well. Don't worry, I have already ordered the Bureau to handle this matter impartially. I will definitely handle this in a way that satisfies the both of you. The Bureau leader walked forward and immediately said, Don't worry, I'm the head of the Bureau. If there's anything you need, just tell me. Zhou Suiwo and Wang Xiyun were at a loss. Su Ling stood up. You are too kind, leaders. The Jing family pharmaceutical company has been established for so many years so it's natural for there to be some parasites like Minister Wang and Supervisor Zheng lurking around. Fortunately, we found out about it early this time, but this is probably not the first time they did something like this. Therefore, I hope that you two leaders can investigate the Jing family pharmaceutical company strictly and give the employees justice. Chapter 128 the compensation is not enough. The city leader looked at Su Ling in surprise. This is. Gen Huo hurriedly stepped forward and said, This is the daughter of Director Su of the Su family pharmaceutical company, Su Ling. She activated the ice muscle body a few days ago. The eyes of the city leader and bureau leader lit up as they revealed an extremely enthusiastic smile. So she's Director Su's daughter. No wonder she has such an outstanding aura. That's right. To be able to activate the ice muscle body, her aura must be extraordinary. I heard that Miss Sue was the one who killed the parasite. She's really not inferior to men. 1. The group of leaders and cotters behind him praised. The city leader and bureau leader also said, Little Ling, don't worry. We will definitely investigate Jing Pharmaceutical Company properly. As they spoke, the directors of the Jing Pharmaceutical Company and the higher UPS ran over. They kept wiping the sweat on their faces as they arrived at the office. When they saw the group of leaders, they were so frightened that their hearts trembled. Mayor, Director, this is all because of the negligence of us higher UPS at the Jing Pharmaceutical Company. Please don't worry, leaders. We will start the cleanup operation immediately and find the black sheep. When Su Ling heard this, she couldn't help but snort. Is finding the parasites enough? Don't you also have to compensate for the losses of the victims? Ring ring. Suddenly, the city leader's phone rang. He took a look at the number and his expression turned solemn. He picked up the call and said, Yes, yes, I am at Jing Pharmaceutical Company. Don't worry, I will definitely punish the company that embezzled the medicinal herbs severely and not let them off. After hanging up the phone, he looked at the higher UPS of the Jing family pharmaceutical company with a threatening look. Commander Zhao has already heard about this. 
he is very furious that your Jing family pharmaceutical company would dare to commit such a crime. You guys are simply too disrespectful. We'll shut down your company and reform it first. After we figure things out, you can submit an application to resume. Also, you'll need to compensate the victims for their losses. The higher UPS of Jing Pharmaceutical Company were on the verge of tears. It was too much of a loss for the company to be closed and reformed. It cost them more than 10 million yuan per day. City leader, bureau leader, we will definitely make changes according to the requirements, but you have to make an exception for us. The company can't be shut down. Thousands of employees still have to work and eat. That's right. Once the company is closed, what will happen to the livelihood of thousands of employees? Thousands of employees mean thousands of families. Their livelihoods are the most important. The city leader and bureau leader frowned. At this moment, Zhou Hao also received a message from Zhao Zhe on the wireless channel. He immediately replied, deal with it impartially. In addition, the compensation must satisfy the families of the victims. When Commander Zhao saw the message, he hurriedly forwarded it to the city leader. He did not dare to neglect them at all. He looked at the higher UPS of Jing Pharmaceutical Company and said authoritatively, we will shut down the company for one day first and get rid of all the parasites. The city and the bureau will supervise this matter closely. You guys will also provide compensation that will satisfy the victims. Otherwise, your company will be shut down forever. The higher UPS of Jing Pharmaceutical Company's eyes lit up when they heard this. They were not stupid. From the city leader's change in attitude, it seemed that compensation for the victims' losses was the most important. As for the shutdown and reformation, there was still room for discussion. The director gritted his teeth and knelt in front of Zhou Suiwo and Wang Xiyun. Wang Xiyun, the company bears full responsibility for mistreating you. How about this? I've decided to compensate you with 10% of the company's shares. Are you satisfied with this arrangement? What? 10% of Jing Pharmaceutical Company's shares. Not only were the higher UPS and shareholders shocked, but Zhou Suiwo and Wang Xiyun were also stunned. It should be known that although Jing Pharmaceutical Company was not comparable to Su Pharmaceutical Company, it was still one of the top 10 pharmaceutical companies in Huadong City. The 10% shares it owned represented a huge profit. Bang. 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 The other shareholders understood the situation and also knelt in front of Zhou Suiwo and Wang Xiyun. The company can't be closed, comrade Wang Xiyun. You're already a senior member of the company. Can you bear to sit by and watch so many colleagues lose their jobs? Comrade Wang Xiyun, thousands of people rely on the company to live. I believe you can empathize with them. If the company is closed, many families will lose their livelihoods because of it. Wang Xiyun fell silent. Of course, she knew the consequences of closing the company. If not for her son, the closing of the company would have a huge impact on her family. Even if it was just for a few days, the consequences would be unthinkable. Thinking of this, she sighed in her heart. However, just as she was about to speak, Zhou Hao's voice sounded. 20%. The entire office instantly fell silent. Chapter 129, Getting Rich Overnight After the cataclysm, the pharmaceutical industry became the number one money-making industry. Even in a city with a relatively poor population, a pharmaceutical company with the lowest profits could earn at least 10 million yuan per month. As for the top 10 Jing pharmaceutical companies, their monthly profits were billions or even tens of billions. Therefore, the director of the Jing pharmaceutical company was already heartbroken when he offered 10% of the shares. It was no different from cutting off his own flesh. In the end, Zhou Hao actually asked for 20%. It was simply like cutting off the bones of the director and shareholders. No. 20% is too much. Among us shareholders, 
the director with the largest shares only occupies 35%. That's right. With 20% of the shares, they'll basically become the second biggest shareholder. They'll have too much say. The group of shareholders immediately shook their heads and shouted. If they only had to offer 10% of the shares, they could grit their teeth and make it work. However, if they had to offer 20% of the shares, they would basically suffer a huge loss. Joe Howe smiled calmly and said, since everyone is unwilling to compensate, let's close the company and reform it. As for the exact amount of time it will take, it will depend on the city leader's decision. Although the city leader did not know who Joe Howe was, he said without thinking, I can't make the decision. We have to let Commander Zhao decide. The city leader decided to shift the burden of responsibility. The expressions of the director and shareholders of Jing Pharmaceutical Company changed drastically. They knew Commander Zhao's ruthless personality very well, especially when it came to pharmaceutical companies like theirs. It was said that they had been dissatisfied with them for a long time. If he was allowed to make the decision, Jing Pharmaceutical Company would probably be shut down indefinitely. Fine. We accept. The director of Jing Pharmaceutical Company almost cried. Then, he fell to the ground. The other shareholders also looked grief-stricken. Zhou Hao smiled. Su Ling also smiled and said meaningfully, it seems that the shareholders of Jing Pharmaceutical Company are all smart people. I believe that with your efforts, the company's parasites will be eradicated very quickly. It was almost 12 p.m. when Zhou Hao and the others returned to the Yang Garden residence. Zhou Hao's parents were still in a daze as they sat on the sofa after receiving 20% of the shares of Jing Pharmaceutical Company. Uncle, Auntie, don't worry. The city leader and bureau leader were both present. The shareholders of the Jing Pharmaceutical Company won't dare to go back on their word. Tomorrow, I will specially get my father's legal department to go to your company and help you sign the contract for the shares. Su Ling consoled Zhou Hao's parents as she fetched hot water for them. Only then did Wang Shiyun return to her senses and say gratefully, Su Ling, it's all thanks to you this time. If not for your help, I'm afraid we would have suffered a fate worse than being imprisoned. Little Hao, what are you waiting for? Hurry up and thank your classmate. Su Ling hurriedly said, Auntie, there's no need. Zhou Hao helped me a lot in school. It's only natural for me to help him back. Zhou Sui Wo knew about the relationship between his son and Su Ling. He smiled and said, Su Ling, remember to come over often in the future. Su Ling's face turned red. Wang Shiyun was experienced. Seeing Su Ling's reaction and expression, she immediately knew what was going on and could not stop smiling. Yes, yes, come and visit us often. Little Hao always talks about you at home. Su Ling's heart was thumping like a deer. She looked at Zhou Hao and dragged out her words. Is that so? Zhou Hao did not understand for a moment. He scratched his head. Mom, that's not true at all. I don't talk about her at home. Wang Shiyun was immediately speechless. She wondered why her smart son had suddenly become stupid and failed to read the room. Uncle, Auntie, it's getting late. Zhang Yi and I will go back first. If there's anything, tell it to Zhou Hao so he can inform us. Su Ling glared at Zhou Hao. This blockhead Zhou Hao was simply too much. Wang Shiyun and Zhou Sui Wo hurriedly nodded. All right, be safe on the road. After sending Zhang Yi and Su Ling to the entrance of the residential area, Wang Shiyun watched as they got into a taxi and said in satisfaction, What a girl. Our little Hao sure is capable. After all, you were able to get a girl like her. Zhou Sui Wo sighed and said, That's right. She's smart and willing to help little Hao. Moreover, she didn't hesitate to kill Minister Wang back then. She really shocked me. To be able to do this for our little Hao, it seems like this girl really likes our little Hao. Zhou Hao chuckled. When Wang Shiyun saw this, she couldn't help but say, Little Hao, 
you have to treat her well in the future. If I find out that you let her down, I won't let you off easily. Joe Suewo also reminded, your mom is right. A girl like her can't be found easily. You can't be careless with her. Got it? Joe Hao nodded. He was indeed touched by Su Ling stepping forward today. The next morning. In the Chu City High School training room. As soon as Joe Hao entered, he sensed that the students in the training room were looking at him differently. Chapter 130, Establishing the Global Elite Training Camp In the past, these students were mostly disdainful, cold, and jealous. But today, besides jealousy, there was also deep envy and shock. Sitting in the virtual cabin, he immediately heard whispers. This Joe Hao is really lucky. Isn't that so? It's fine if his strength has reached the level of a martial artist, but now even his family has undergone a tremendous change. 20% of Jing's pharmaceutical company's shares. What a leap. The role model of becoming rich overnight. TCH, it's all because of the woman. Without Su Ling, would Zhou Hao have changed so much and caused such a huge commotion last night? All right, stop being jealous. This is fate. Most of the students sighed repeatedly, and some students were immediately rebuked. After all, Zhou Hao's status had become different from before. With 20% of the Jing family pharmaceutical company's shares, his family had already taken a complete leap in terms of status. Moreover, Zhou Hao himself had reached the level of a martial artist and his combat strength was even comparable to a high-level martial artist. Listening to the surrounding classmates' discussion, Zhou Hao's expression was calm. He was not surprised that what happened to his parents last night had spread so quickly. Not long after, Su Ling walked into the classroom. Zhou Hao left his virtual cabin and directly entered Su Ling's virtual cabin. Smelling the fragrance emitted by Su Ling's special physique, he smiled and took out an exquisite box. Su Ling was a little shy, but she did not push Zhou Hao away. Instead, she looked at the exquisite box and revealed a sly look. Could it be panda pattern chocolate? Zhou Hao shook his head and signaled for Su Ling to open it. Su Ling opened the box curiously and saw a panda-shaped cake inside. She immediately said in surprise, Zhou Hao, did you make this? Zhou Hao said angrily, am I capable of making something like this? TCH, I knew it wasn't you. It must have been Auntie. Su Ling pursed her lips and rolled her eyes. She was disappointed inside even though she knew it wasn't true, would it kill him to say that he was the one who made it? Zhou Hao naturally did not know what Su Ling was thinking at this moment. He urged, eat quickly. It's cold. Su Ling was speechless and kicked Zhou Hao out. No way, is she on her period again? Zhou Hao rubbed his head, feeling puzzled. Ring ring. The school bell rang and Shen Jing strode into the classroom. His expression was calm. However, the students of the training class who were familiar with Instructor Shen's personality had long figured out that this was a sign that Instructor Shen was in a good mood. Their expressions relaxed. Everyone performed pretty well in the combat assessment yesterday. You all didn't embarrass me. Today's training intensity will be slightly decreased today. Consider it a reward for you, but only for this day. Shen Jing said slowly. Yeah. That's great. Long live instructor Shen. The students were excited. All the students had been through hellish training and hoped desperately for the training intensity to be decreased. Shen Jing raised his hand, and the classroom immediately fell silent. All right, go in and start the virtual environment. In the evening. Zhou Hao arrived at the East Station's headquarters. Han Piyu, Commander Zhao, and the others welcomed him when he arrived. Little Han, why did you come to Huadong City today? Zhou Hao asked with a smile as soon as he landed. As a supernatural expert, Han Piyu was usually very busy. After delivering a batch of special chips last time, he rarely came to Huadong City. However, 
he contacted Zhou Hao from time to time through the wireless channel. Han Piyu said enthusiastically, Senior Zhou, we came here mainly to discuss something. Zhou Hao asked curiously, Oh? What's the matter? It's like this. The situation at the front line fortress at the Spatial Rift has been a little tense recently. Therefore, after the discussion of the higher ups in the Supernatural Council, we have decided to establish another global elite training camp in the frontline fortress city to quickly nurture experts to support the frontline. As Han Piyu spoke, his expression became solemn. Commander Zhao and the others immediately turned nervous when they heard this. They asked, Senior Han, has the situation at the frontline worsened? The frontline fortress at the Spatial Rift was responsible for the safety of all humans. If the frontline fortress could not withstand the attack, all the cities in the rear would collapse one after another. After all, the foreign race's main activity area was in the rift, which was filled with a large number of foreign race experts. Han Piyu hurriedly said, Don't worry, the situation is still in control. Because the foreign races have been attacking more fiercely recently, we're a little nervous. The main purpose of establishing the global elite training camp is to prepare in advance. 